Hi guys, my name is Ariel Espanola. We're out here in Long Beach, California. And this is my 1985 Toyota Corolla 11 GTV. I shot this car in Osaka a few years back, and now it's here in Long Beach, California. How did that happen? Uh, well, I saw this car on Instagram, and it was Elvis from Stance Nation that actually posted it for sale. I thought it was a joke because it was around April, and I DM'd him, and he gave me the price, and I just went ahead and uh, shot him the offer, and he took it. What's the biggest difference between 11 and say your your typical 86? Oh well, uh, the biggest obviously is the the biggest difference is the pop up lights, you know. But as far as um, power and and uh, weight, everything's the same. It's just basically the fascia that's different. So do you like this look better than than say the pop ups? Uh, honestly, yes, because it's just a little bit. You know, it's definitely different. I like the flush look, and I know everybody goes crazy about the pop up lights, but I really don't care for them yeah yeah let's talk about the the outside here have you changed anything since the last time we shot this in japan actually i changed the amber lights here uh they were yellow actually the turn signals i'm sorry oh these yeah they were actually super bright amber yellow and i went ahead with a, uh, went with the clear ones that's one of the first things i've done and also i have added the uh fog lamps that sit behind the grill what about the wheels? The wheels the same? The wheels are different. Uh, I still have the original wheels that I bought the car with. Uh, they're actually in my garage right now. Uh, I, I just, I use those for mostly shows. Are you doing anything else to the outside on this thing or the same? I do want to go with a Tech Art Street Kit, uh, but that's later down the line. Uh, but I'm definitely going to change it up. That's pretty cool. Let's see the engine bay. Yeah. Anything changed since the last time? It's uh, basically pretty much the same um, since it left Japan. What stacks are these? These are actually uh, tech art stacks. Wow, so they yeah. had to cut around the, the booster? I actually had to cut around the Oh, you booster. cut around the booster? Yeah, I, I had to cut that stack. It felt, I felt really bad, but I didn't feel too bad when I seen somebody else do it. Wow. I actually seen uh, Kamada-san from Tech Arts uh, do it, so I was okay with it. Wow, that's crazy. How much was, it? How much was that? Which one? The actual stacks? Yeah, the stacks. Oh man, uh, I paid $500 for those stacks. Oh, you know, that's not too bad. Yeah, I mean... Are they longer than the, the ones that came with they the They are. These are actually 100 millimeter. Uh, the ones I had at home, they were, I, I believe they're at 50, 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters? Yeah. Can you tell the difference in power delivery? Um, I feel like I have more top end speed. Really? Yeah. Okay. Compared to uh, short So you short lost stacks. some bottom end, you think? Uh, yeah. I think so. Well, this guy already makes no power. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd rather go uh, try to, you know, go faster towards the end. But I but bet you it sounds amazing. It's it does sound amazing. I love I love the raw sound to it, wow. and uh, it does it does sound better to me. Yeah. So suspension, this is different, right? Yeah, that's different. Uh, that's actually uh, Function Informs uh, Type Three coilovers for the A86. Uh -huh. These are actually the first um, production for this car, so it's def it's the test car for it. So this is okay. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. What spring rates are you running? Do you know? I'm running eight and six in the rear. Eight and six. Yeah, eight and six. But Just the basic setup for a Corolla. I mean, that's plenty for a car that weighs it, like 2,300 pounds, right? I want to say 2,000 pounds, seven, two, two, yeah. Wow. 2,000 pounds. That's ridiculous. And what's going on over here? You got like a oil cooler? Yeah, a, a big uh, oil cooler that's not even in production anymore. And it was made by Garage Gluck. What's the wheel specs on here? So the wheel spec. On the front here, uh, they are 15 by eight and a half, uh, negative six. Negative six. Yeah, negative six on the, on the front here. And they're running on 195, 50, 15 up here. And, and then the rear? And for the rear, uh, I have a 15 by nine and a half, negative nine. And those are wrapped with 205, uh, 50, 15. All right, so for the interior, we have a Bridge Japan. Uh, Zeta XLs, good for my uh, body frame. I'm pretty wide, <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good for me. Carbon fiber. <laughs> Carbon fiber, correct. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I have the uh, Zeta 4s in my Integra and they're tiny. Oh, they're, yeah, they're, 
Well, these are like considerably bigger. Yeah, they are. They oh. are definitely better for the hips. Okay. So, <laughs> what changed since the last time I shot this car? Well, com uh, besides the seats, the steering wheel, I changed the steering wheel. It's almost the same same steering wheel that he had, but I went with the white stitching. Right. I, he had the red stitching on there. Like this whole thing is pretty much stripped, right? Like, yeah. There's no interior pieces in here, as you guys can see. It's got, well, what is that? The, you said safety 21? Yeah, safety 21 roll cage. Roll cage. And then they, yeah. what, stitch welded this whole chassis, right? Yeah, it, pretty much from, from top to from, from front to the rear, so all the way through. Explain that to the new kids that don't know anything about stitch welding. What is that? Oh, it's to reinforce the, the chassis. Um, right, so if, if you look over there, you can point it out, all oh, the yeah. stitches right there. Yeah, that's something the new generation wouldn't really understand right now. But, yeah, because uh, they had to tear the whole interior out and then yeah. redo it. So it's yeah. basically a race car. It's a race car on the streets. Dude, this thing is crazy. The interior is pretty, pretty it's, simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's, I mean, there's nothing really extravagant about it, but you know, I, that's that's how I like it. Simple and plain. This sits closer to the body compared to the USDM one, which usually sticks out this much. And really? a lot, of, yeah. I mean, huh. to the people that don't know. I never uh, noticed that. Yeah. Back here, I have a HKS high power, high power exhaust, super old school. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. The taillights are the same for the USDM? No, these are actually, um, actual JDM uh, light piece where in the US we never had these white lines I don't know if you ever can never oh. yeah and these are the Koki Koki edition tail lights does that white line go with your body color or yeah well it, it came with the car that's that's basically what the year uh, these cars came with but people tend to change it to the red lines which are the most popular uh, tail lights I see, I see yeah and those are super popular but I, I actually like these white lines so here's uh, something a little bit different from your typical 11 and this is a super super old school grill um, which I cut up uh, to make the exposure on the fog lamps to come on because uh, they never made actual holes for these to, to come out bright. Mm -hmm. 